today we will discuss analysis of continuous beam by moment distribution method and draw the bending moment diagram okay the question is we need to draw the bending moment diagram for given structure by using moment distribution method okay step 1 we need to find the on how many unknown displacements are there in structure because moment distribution method is a displacement method okay so here degree of freedom equal to 3j minus r minus m okay here we got uh, joints are five joints okay one two three four and three and one joint five joints and reaction six reactions here fixed three reactions is one dollar one is reactions here one reaction here one is total six reaction and number of members are four total the degree of freedom is five okay step two we need to find the fixed rate end moments so we need to consider fixed the, the ends are fixed because this is the displacement method okay and displacement method major assumption is fixed end moments so we need to find the fixed end moments of ab is a point load uh, it x distance a distance and b distance so we need to look formula minus p a b square by l square oh okay here p is 40 kilo newtons a means 3 meters and b means 2 meters so b square means 2 square total distance 5 that is l square that is gives minus 19.2 here take right end is clockwise positive left end is anti-clockwise means uh, it will be the negative direction so i took here minus 19.2 okay minus 9 so all clockwise direction are positive the moment clockwise moment is positive okay similarly a bc member acting point load symmetrical distance okay here check here symmetrical 4 meters so symmetrical distance pl square by 8 so pl by sorry pl by 8 so here minus 20 into 4 by 8 that gives minus here the left hand is minus right in the positive okay next here uniform distributed load at 10 kilo newton meter so for uniform distributed load is called w l square by 12 that gives w l square by 12 10 into 3 square by 12 that gives the minus 7.5 similarly okay note it is a node moment at a day so we take it here d is a cantilever d is the like a cantilever so we said distance of 2 meters at a distance of 2 meters check here at a distance of 2 meter 10 kN force is acting here so we need to take it as a cantilever so we need to cut a section there we need to find the end moment is minus 20 kN meter ok minus 20 kN meter ok next step distribution factors we need to find the distribution factor we need to make the distribution table so here joint b joint c and joint d we need to take the joints okay member b a member and b c member and c to b member c to d member d to e member so here we need to take the left hand is fixed far end is hinged or roller we need to modify the the stiffness factors okay we need to modify the stiffness factor here we had taken b to a is 4 ei by l so 4 ei by l here and uh, b to c is 4 ei by l b to b to c 4 ei by l c to b also 4 ei by l but c to d here c to d here it will become it will, it will become nodal movement so it is a roller it is a roller support so we need to modify c to d c to d stiffness so what it, it, it will become the modified equal to 3 l by 3 e i by l oh sorry 3 e i by l c here hmm? c to d is 3 e i by l we need to take here say 3 i by l okay and again and d to d to c is 4 a by l as well 4 a by l okay so here condition one end is fixed far end is pin or roller uh, roller or hinged we need to take 
3 e i by l so modify stiffness 3 e i by l ok otherwise one and fixed for and is also fixed no? for e i by l similarly ok we do not change the member next so summation of k it will become summation of k k by summation of k will give the respect to distribution factors ok respect to distribution factors next step 4 we need to define the carryover moment so carryover factor ok here once you check here just uh, see here it, our section is like this and here we need to remember fixed strain never give the moment ok fixed strain never give the moment so fixed strain for carryover factor is 0 and roller to fixed is off and we need to check another condition we need to check another condition here c2 c2 d is 0 why because d has has roller support so roller support has only vertical reaction there is no horizontal reaction there is no moment so moment is 0 so external moment is 0 because there is no moment carry over here ok and next see here a to b is 0 b to a equal half the respectively step 5 moment table so we need to draw the moment table like this first we need to draw the m a b m b a m b c m c d m m d c to d m c d to c and m e to d to e and e to d like that we need to next we need to form the distribution factors we need to fill the distribution factor next we need to forward the carrier moments we need to forward the carrier moments next uh, next time uh, to start before starting we need to draw the fixed end moments of uh, each uh, point it supports we need to write the fixed end moments okay and then we need to balance we need to balance the moments so in order to balance the moment we need to check the end conditions we need to check the end condition see here we had a moment is zero so we need to check the end moment condition from the last from the last we had a roller support so we need to start here if it is a fixed support we need to start a middle equilibrium conditions hmm? okay remember that point then see here summation of all giants here hmm? equal to how much we got a minus 12.5 so we need to add plus 12.5 it become zero okay it will become zero okay this can be added next carry the moment half of here so 12.5 half is 6.25 okay 6.25 then next balance here so 6.25 balance here so we need to add minus 6.25 so we need to share these moments uh, by the distribution table from the distribution table okay okay here balance no? then here also we need to balance uh, total and total okay we need to balance and distribute similarly okay share the moment here and sharing the moment here here also we will move the moment will it be shared okay it is finished next step now we got here so minus 2.19 and minus 5.23 this is also balance law okay in r2 distribution factor multiply the distribution factor this into this it will become this and this is also multiply the distribution factor we will get the here also and here also same thing as uh, a carrier factor until unless uh, it approximately zero uh, approximately is zero and finish is zero we got uh, then add the uh, all moments from starting with respect to the member so we got a uh, end moments okay we got uh, end moments then check here to need to draw the bending moment diagram step 4 take uh, clockwise is positive so here we got a negative moment so here anti clockwise uh, like that otherwise we need to uh, 
uh, okay otherwise and you need to calculate all moments okay all reactions and rather bending moment diagram but i will tell easy step to rather bending moment diagram here we got a point load so we need to draw the triangle load sorry need to draw the triangle load okay next here also we need to draw the triangle load so here we got a udl so we need to draw the parabolic arrow so here are the point load last of any moment diagram so here is zero hmm? have you got this is a very easy easy process to draw the bending moment diagram so draw, draw, draw the value 23.18 20.19 here 20 have you got this is easy step to draw the bending moment diagram remember this diagram to draw in different problems thank you